Nanzenji is a vast complex with numerous sub-temples, gardens, and shrines sprawling up the hillside, including another pebble garden, hiking trails, waterfalls, and a mountain glen. Nanzenji was bestowed the title of First Temple of the Land and is considered by many to be the most famous and important Zen temple in the world. It's designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nanzen Inn is a smaller sub-temple behind the main Nanzenji and it's one of the oldest and yet one of the least well-known sub-temples, perhaps because it's slightly hidden away. It started out as a retirement villa for the Emperor Kameyama. Perhaps the main feature of Nanzen Inn is the small pond and quiet moss garden surrounded by momiji trees and azaleas. And the pond has several tiny islets, including one that's shaped like the character for heart. The pond garden was built in the strolling style, representing the late Kamakura period, and retains an image of beautiful scenery surrounded by deep forests with an exceptional atmosphere of peace and tranquility. It was designated a national historic and scenic site in 1923. It's a very small garden that you could walk around in five minutes and exit, but it's so pretty that it's certainly worth stopping and standing and enjoying each of the views from its own particular angle, which of course is the way these gardens are designed. They're strolling gardens, so the idea is to walk along with your eyes open and stop here and there, look this way, look that way, and enjoy all the different views as they unfold. Sometimes you'll get lucky and come across a beautiful scene like this that just has a strong personal attraction for some reason. You just can't take your eyes off it. You, you can't leave it. You just have to stop and look and walk one way, walk around the other way, come back again, and just drop everything and enjoy this vista. The rocks, of course, are not carved rocks. They're natural rocks, but they're carefully placed into each spot so that it looks natural, and yet it's been shaped and cultivated in an ideal way. The temple was first established in the year 1291 by the Emperor Kamayama, who built it on the site of his previous palace. It's also the headquarters of the Nanzenji branch of Rinzai Zen. Typical of the old wooden temple buildings, it was destroyed by fire several times and finally rebuilt in 1597 and then expanded over time with the addition of more gardens and sub-temples. And then we walked out on the main grounds of the temple of Nanzen and came across what looked like something from ancient Rome, a large aqueduct. The canal called Sosui is a channel that brings water from Lake Biwa passing the Nanzenji temple and right on into Kyoto City. The construction of the canal was pretty recent. It was begun in 1881 and finished in 1890 and it was primarily to bring water to the city and also it added some hydroelectric power and provided irrigation water and turned water wheels for spinning cotton. Of course there's no connection to Rome. This is a Japanese aqueduct. They were experts at irrigation of the rice terraces and funneling water from one area to another. And even though this aqueduct is not ancient, it has a historic character with the brick construction and graceful arches that makes it blend in beautifully with the temple grounds. The temple complex reached its maximum size in the period between 1616 and 1868 when it grew to contain 62 sub-temples spread over nearly 400,000 square meters of garden area. But this ended during the Meiji period after 1868, when Shintoism began to replace Buddhism as the dominant belief of Japan. By then, the temple was partly demolished, leaving only the nine sub-temples that we have today. 
The tallest structure is the Sanman Gate, which is a gateless gate, typical of the Zen. And you can climb a staircase up to the top for a view. The building called Kuri has a geometrical beauty produced by white walls and black building materials and the lines of the roof, so characteristic of the Zen style of architecture. When you get to Kyoto, be sure to visit Nanzenji Temple. And while you're there, look around behind the aqueduct for the little pond, the gardens of Nanzen Inn. Go ahead and spend the extra yen to get in there. It's definitely worth it. One of the prettiest little ponds you'll ever see. This is part of our series on the temples and gardens of eastern Kyoto, the Higashiyama district. And also we'll take you downtown in some of our other videos. Be sure to look for them on our YouTube channel.